the name okay it could have been just a differential calorimetry why it is scanning what do you think that scanning signifies differential scanning calorimetry acha yahan pe differential hai ya iska matlab hum fir se difference measure karne wale hai now it is calorimetry that means we are measuring calories why the word scanning uh, no <laughs> no we are not going to use scanner as such uh yeah sushma is very much near to reading checking that is we are going to check these difference in the calories constantly and when there is difference suppose uh now i will try to give you simpler example mm, suppose you are hitting two metals okay there are two spheres one is made up of copper and other is made up of iron to both this sphere you are you are providing equal amount of energy okay to both the spheres you are providing equal amount of energy obviously copper will get heated faster as compared to stainless steel so after say some time say 5 minutes copper ka temperature zyada hoga as compared to stainless steel then to match both the temperature the energy supplied to stainless steel sphere we will increase and we will measure constantly how much extra energy we will require we are requiring to match the temperature you understand देखो मैं फिर से रिपीट करता हूं इमेजिन करो दो स्वीयर है एक कॉपर का है एक स्टेनलेस स्टील का है दोनों को हम हीट कर रहे हैं साइमल्टेनियसली आफ्टर फाइव मिनट कॉपर का एक जो टेम्परेचर है वो ज्यादा होगा एज कम्पेयर टू स्टेनलेस स्टील तो कॉपर के टेम्परेचर को मैच करने के लिए हम क्या करेंगे जो एनर्जी हमको लग रहा है स्टेनलेस स्टील को हम जो दे रहे हैं उसको हम इंक्रीज करेंगे और जो इंक्रीज हुआ हुआ एनर्जी है दैट वी विल मेजर ओके दैट वी विल स्कैन कॉन्स्टेंटली के वो दोनों का टेम्परेचर मैच करने के लिए हर बार स्टेनलेस स्टील को कितना ज्यादा एनर्जी देना पड़ता है इन टर्म्स ऑफ कैलोरीज अभी शायद समझा रहेगा बेटर वे अभी कोई अगर समझा नहीं है प्लीज डू आस्क आई विल ट्राई टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस ओके एक्सेंट अरे देर वॉज सम डाउट इसी ने डाउट कुछ विशाल गाउंड इज आस्किंग सर इसमें कॉपर एक स्टैंडर्ड होगा हाँ वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सो वन इज कंसिडर्ड एज स्टैंडर्ड एक्चुअली इसमें ऐसा स्टैंडर्ड बोल सकते हैं लेकिन जो दो सब्सटेंसेस रहते हैं दोनों को भी इक्वली मैच करना पड़ता है आई एम सॉरी डिफरेंशियल स्कैलिंग कैलोरी मेट्री ओके सो वी विल रिक्वायर अ कैलोरी मीटर अ कैलोरी मीटर मेजर्स द हीट इन टू और आउट ऑफ अ सैम्पल अ डिफरेंशियल कैलोरी मीटर मेजर्स द हीट ऑफ सैम्पल रिलेटिव टू रेफरेंस वेरी सिंपल a differential scanning calorimeter does all of the above that is it is doing calorie meter work also and differential calorie meter work also all of the above and heats the sample with linear temperature matlab wo sample ko heat bhi karta hai ka calories bhi measure karta hai aur simultaneously uh, sample aur reference ke calories mein difference bhi measure karta hai okay now you know what is exothermic and endothermic so we will not see that again this is the actual instrument differential scanning calorimetry maine aapko uska principle bata diya hai okay now we will quickly run through the applications of differential scanning calorimetry first is this technique is to is used to study measures the heat loss or gain resulting from physical or chemical changes with the sample as the function of temperature this is very simple what happens to polymer or sample upon heating it can be studied using this method it is used to study thermal transition of a polymer or a sample the changes that can take place on heating okay example the melting of crystalline polymer then glass transition temperature and then crystallization now first and third is you are aware of what is crystallization and what is melting of any polymer glass transition temperature see sometimes there are many polymers even you must have observed it many plastics uh when you heat those polymers okay there comes a temperature where their property changes how it changes uh many many nylon wires or uh, nylon ropes you must have seen that uh, normally they are very flexible but upon heating they they become brittle okay aisa uska tukda tukda pad jata hai like as if it is a glass 
so that temperature at which this change this change is taking place is called as glass transition temperature aapko samjha what is glass transition temperature physical property change hota hai polymer ka and becomes brittle the polymer becomes brittle like glass so it is called as glass transition temperature let us see what is principle behind this technique the sample and reference are maintained at the same temperature even during a thermal event in sample abhi ye kaise karenge समझो कोई तो इंडोथर्मिक प्रोसेस है मतलब एनर्जी वो सैंपल ज्यादा ले रहा है लेकिन फिर भी सैंपल का टेम्परेचर और रेफरेंस का टेम्परेचर मैच करना है तो क्या करना पड़ेगा बहुत ज्यादा एनर्जी देना पड़ेगा टू द सैंपल ओके सो दैट द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द सैंपल एंड रेफरेंस मैचेस इफ इट इज एक्सोथर्मिक प्रोसेस वॉट यू कैन डू नॉट ओनली यू विल हैव स्टॉप द एनर्जी विच इज यू आर सप्लाइंग टू द सैंपल यू हैव टू इन अ वे गिव द एनर्जी टू द रेफरेंस and check what is the energy difference differential scanning calorimetry okay the energy required to maintain zero temperature difference between the sample and the reference is measured during a thermal event like exothermic or endothermic change so during a thermal event in the sample the system will transfer heat to or heat from the sample pan to maintain the same temperature in the reference and sample pan have you understood all these three points students any doubt anjali we cannot cool this thing there is no cooling uh, system inside it we can only heat acha samjho exothermic wala part hai theek hai chalo exothermic matlab kya jo aapka sample hai wo energy release kar raha hai iska matlab uska temperature fatafat badh raha hai to agar sample ka temperature fatafat badh raha hai to reference ko bhi zyada heat karo usko zyada energy do and make sure that there is no temperature difference between the two sample and reference abhi samjha anjali and sushma endothermic mein sample ka kam hoga endothermic mein sample energy lega to uska temperature kam hoga exothermic mein uska temperature badhega agar kuch doubt hai to poocho students you can ask your doubts okay let us proceed then this is how the instrument looks like you have sample pan in which there is sample say polymer is kept there is reference pan there may be some reference added or it may be simply empty reference pan okay then there are two heaters provided both the heaters are uh, attached to a monitoring system differential scanning instrument and so heat that is provided to both sample and reference pan is measured and the difference is being calculated by the differential scanning calorimeter now let us see procedure in brief there are two pans in one sample span polymer is added the sample is added while the other reference or standard is standard substance is added or it may be left empty each pan sits on top of heaters which are controlled by a computer so heaters are controlled by a computer the computer turns on heaters and let them heat the uh, let them heat the two pans on which heaters are kept uh, the pans on which uh, sorry the heaters on which pans are kept Two pans at specific rate, usually 10 degrees Celsius per minute. The computer makes absolutely sure that the heating rate stays exactly the same throughout the experiment. So, differential scanning colorimetry instrument. There is another representation of the this. There are two basic types. First one is power compensation differential scanning calorimetry, and the next one is heat flux differential scanning calorimetry. You will see both of them. What are they? But it is not so deep. Me, not it. Just you remember that these two are the types. Uh, in power compensation, let us see what happens. There is sample holder. It may be made up of aluminium or platinum pans. Then there are sensors. They, they the sensors are a uh, platinum resistance thermocouples. separate sensors and heaters for the sample and reference are kept so there is one sensor over here there is one sensor over there in the reference pan okay then you have a furnace the separate blocks of sample and reference so there is separate furnace for sample separate furnace for reference temperature controller so i don't think there is any explanation for that temperature controller the next type is heat flux the main difference is both of them are kept in the same furnace okay both of them are kept in the same furnace aluminum or platinum uh, placed pans placed on the constant disc sample and reference holders are connected by low resistance heat low path then you have sensors 
furnace and temperature control that part is remaining same so application what can dsc measure first glass transition then melting and boiling points then crystallization time and crystallization temperature percent crystallinity heat of fusion and reaction specific heat specific heat capacity oxidative and thermal stability reaction kinetics that is rate of reaction time of reaction all that and purity so a typical dsc thermogram looks like this so if it is a glass transition it is the slight decrease in the temperature or uh, you can say endothermic process then for crystallization when crystallization opens a uh, exothermic reaction sharp then for melting again endothermic if there is cross linking polymer changes okay it is again exothermic and oxidation again exothermic uh, let us not go in this deep so for factors affecting dsc curve first is instrument related factors there are six factors related to instrument furnace heating rate recording or charge speed furnace atmosphere geometry of sample holder or location of the sensor sensitivity of the recording system and composition of the sample containers now out of this furnace heating heat uh, heating rate we have seen already we have also seen what is effect of furnace atmosphere we have seen geometry of sample holder now location of the sensor is whether the sensors are located within the sample or they are located on the pan so ideally when they are in the sample they will measure the accurate temperature okay so that is that point then sensitivity of the recording system you can obviously guess it if the recording system is uh, very sensitive it is better if it is not that sensitive you will get errors then composition also we have seen composition of the sample container so out of all these points only recording or charge speed that we have not studied if the charge speed is very low okay if the charge speed is very low so you will get lot of noise and if charge speed is very high you will get lot of unwanted peaks okay so the charge speed should be just right for the uh, uh, for the analysis and it should be proportionate to the rate of heating then there are sample characteristic nature of the sample whether it is uh, uh, solid liquid okay whether it is crystalline whether it is amorphous then sample packing whether it is compactly packed loosely packed or is its porosity then solubility of evolved gas gases in the sample now why solubility is important suppose it is a liquid okay and evolved gases are getting uh, solubilized so solubility many times is endothermic or exothermic process so you are getting evolution of gas one thing so that is accompanied by solubilization so two processes happening simultaneously so you may observe unusual peaks particle size we have seen already heat of reaction endothermic or exothermic and thermal conductivity of the sample if it is good conductor of heat you will get uniform heating you will get sharp peak if it is not that good thermal conduct uh, conductor then the peaks may not be sharp uh, the applications we just remember the remember the heading do not go in deep determination of heat capacity then is all these calculations are not necessary then determination of glass transition temperature see on heating the polymer of a certain temperature there is shift in the plot okay there is shift in the plot this is very slight very uh, can say small endothermic reaction now that marks the glass transition temperature now see after glass transition the polymer have a lot of mobility okay they wiggle and squirm never stay in one position at a very long time but when they reach the right temperature they will give off enough energy to me into uh, very order arrangements which is called crystals so originally the polymer will have lot of mobility but when they are transferred into a crystalline arrangement they will become like glass okay they will become brittle they will become very ordered arrangement monomer ka unka arrangement ekdam ordered ho jayega okay so that is the glass transition temperature then we can the next application is melting you can determine melting so there is something called as liquid crystals 
that is in liquids there is orderly arrangement of the molecule okay some materials go from solid to liquid they go through third state which displays properties of both solid and liquids this anisotropic liquid is known as liquid crystalline state or mesomorphous state using dsc it is possible to observe the small energy changes that occur as matter transitions from a solid to a liquid crystals and from a liquid crystal to an isotropic liquid okay next op application is oxidative stability obviously the, if there is oxidation there will be chemical reaction exothermic reaction which can be studied using this the drug analysis you can uh, you can measure whether uh, predict whether it is a polymeric drug or which type of polymer it is then you can also study the process parameters okay now example if it is necessary to deliver a drug in amorphous form it is desirable to process the drug at temperature below the crystallization can occur so that you can study using uh, dsc then you can obviously uh, check the purity of any substance you can also check the composition then you can determine which impurities are present it has also application in food science see these applications no you do not remember you need not remember them in deep but at least headings you should remember for examination okay so that's it we are done with this chapter thermal analysis